Let's face it, ladies and gentlemen, the topic of today's video is one of those that is not YouTube friendly because YouTube has a left leaning bent. We're talking, of course, about Shazam uh, actor Zachary Levi saying that thousands of people in Hollywood are terrified to support Donald Trump openly. So, because we're going to be covering something which YouTube will not like and will likely negatively impact the video itself, please do support the channel further via my Patreon. It is linked down below in the description box and it's a really, really good way to support the channel whilst YouTube loves to do YouTube things and uh, demonetize or de-rank videos. So let's take a look, shall we? Ladies and gents, this is an interesting topic. Uh, Zachary Levi has been under fire a lot lately for his open support of Donald Trump. And uh, yeah, it's not really a surprise, to be honest. Um, well, not really a surprise that you know he's been under fire um, because, of course, Hollywood is yeah, hugely left-leaning. Most media is left-leaning. So actor Zachary Levi, who recently endorsed President Donald Trump for president of the US, claimed that there are thousands of people in Hollywood who are terrified to claim they are conservative or support Donald Trump, which is true. We've heard multiple actors say things like this in the past. Not a lot, but multiple uh, actors. So during a recent Instagram Live video, Levi addressed comments from The View in recent commentary on The View, Goldberg, of course, disputed Levi's claims that Hollywood is a very liberal town. How on earth do you dispute that? What? Uh, and that coming out in support of Donald Trump can be a career suicide. So she said, and this is all just nonsense, that's not necessarily true. Ah, oh, okay, there you go. Right, sure. From the beginning of Hollywood, it's always been a very right-leaning town, but... I know you don't know much about the Hollywood history, so let me school you. We are like America is, we're mixed. It's not, I mean, it's, it is predominantly left-leaning though, isn't it? We're a mixed bunch. And sometimes it may seem like there is more Democrats, and sometimes it seems like there's more Republicans. It never seems like there's more Republicans. But the truth of the matter is very few people seem to bite it because they are Republican. Uh, John Voigt, who's working. Yeah, that again, that's because he had a career. Right, he already had a career. Uh, and she also says about Dennis Quaid. Again, someone who already had a career. Uh, and Dennis Quaid's not doing a lot of stuff anymore, to be fair. I mean, he was in The Substance recently, but he's not doing like loads and loads of things like he used to. Uh, people work. <clears throat> Stop that. It's more BS and it's unnecessary. Oh, is it oh, whoopee? Is it? Is it? Is it whoopee? Is it? I hate that name. So as part of a live stream where he addressed multiple topics, Levi addressed Goldberg's comments saying, to Whoopi Goldberg and to Sonny and all the folks at The View, I don't think it's accurate to say that somehow Hollywood is both liberal and a conservative town. To Whoopi's point, back in the day, there might have been a bit more of a balance. I agree with that. I think that it was the case. And there, are, and there have always been more, let's say, conservative-leaning stars that have been able to say those things. But you really have to be at a certain level of your career to get away with it. Yep, exactly. Number one and number two, that was also back then. And I think naming just John Voight and Dennis Quaid, and really you only named John Voight, whoopee, somebody else had to help you with Dennis Quaid. <laughs> uh, of the thousands of actors in Hollywood that you could only name two, I think actually speaks to that. And what that means, there is plenty, and by the way, they have sent me lots of messages, plenty of people in my industry in Hollywood that are terrified to publicly say that they would vote for Donald Trump or be conservative in any way. That's why you don't see them. That's why they're not very prevalent or prominent, because they know there's ramifications for this kind of shit. So after lamenting the state of Hollywood following the pandemic and the strikes, Levi stated, quote, my cry to all of you out there, you closeted conservatives, closeted Trump voters, y'all, it's now or never. You know what I mean? Do whatever you feel like you need to do. If you need to come out publicly and say it, if you feel like you still can't, then don't. I would never pressure you to do that, but know that if you, if you, what? But know that if you, what you are afraid of is the backlash of an industry that is not going to exist very soon, then don't let that hold you back. Interesting. I mean, look, these comments are completely accurate, to be fair. 
like completely accurate. And he's copped so much flack on Twitter um, saying that this is like the final nail in the coffin for his career. And uh, he, I mean, well, the, the funny thing is, is Whoopi's disputing that coming out and, and vote and, and saying, I support Donald Trump. You know, Whoopi's disputing that that is career suicide. <laughs> Whilst that's pretty much been the only dialogue online, is this guy's like got no career. He definitely won't, like, he won't be working after this. I mean, come on now, Whoopi. Come on. And then there's other people saying, oh, you know, there was a quote from like a source close to the movie. It was a guy, he thought that he'd be the next sort of Captain America, you know, it'd be his big break um, in, you know, in uh, into movies that the uh, Shazam role would be. And look, ultimately, you know, I don't actually care about Zachary Levi. Like, I'm not interested in him as a person, as an actor. I could I could really care less. But the point that he's making is, is, a, is an accurate one. And the point that Whoopi's making is just gaslighting. To be like, oh, well, I can name two actors. It's like, oh, can you? Great, good. Two actors that once had good careers that now doesn't, you know, don't really. But again, they were big. They were big. And they were big. And, and then at that point, they've made themselves. They are a name. Again, they're not exactly doing a ton of work at the moment. But they are a name. And as a result of that, they can now come out and say the things that they believe. You know, John Voigt specifically has been pretty vocal on stuff like that. But Whoopi only naming two people. I mean, my God. You pea-brained fool. So, yes, I think he is right to say that, you know, people are terrified to say <coughs> that they were, you know, that they, they support Donald Trump. And he is right in saying that, hey, this industry might not be a thing anymore. You know, well, these blockbusters are not going well. These movies are not going well. The industry is not going well. And a lot of that is because of this massive left-wing push. You know, it's it's overshadowing creativity in movies and making it quite bleak. Every movie is pretty much the same. Just full of bloody agenda nonsense. So, anyway, I thought this was quite an interesting sort of topic to uh, broach upon. Do you guys believe, you know, whether you support Donald Trump or not, right? Because that's not, that's not the, the topic here. But do you guys believe that Hollywood is has got a good mix? Do you think that there's a really good balance there or not? Do you think it's left left uh, wing or not? Let me know down below. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye now.